What it do, what it do, what it do. It's your boy, Silly Cell, and we back in here with another episode of Juice City Legend, man. Who we got Who we got in the building today? You got your boy, DeMarcus, man. DeMarcus being the Make a Pride for Kendall's, man. Checked in with my boy, Juice City Legend, man. You know I had to come tap in with him, bro. For shit, show. For like shit what show. you got going, man. Keep going with for it, shit bro. Show. For shit, show. Who we got? Yeah, who we yeah, got? Yeah, man. This Big Bad French is right here, man. Your boy called me T, you know what I'm saying? Uh, fucking with the Juice City Legend, man. You know what I'm talking about? For sure, for sure, man. What y'all working with over there, man? Uh, you know, I'm working with a goddamn badass soldier granddaughter, man. Stack up. I got big pain with her, bro. She ain't number six months, bro. Small. She got the bone on her, bro. Like I say, shit, I really was. Really had. Really playing on. Really getting rid of the bitch, bro. But I'm glad I didn't, bro. I really worked out in my favor, bro. For sure, for sure. How long you been fucking with the with the, with the uh, dolls and shit, bro? Man, you know I really started shit in 2021. I had got Gucci, my arm. Um, he was a pit, Merle pit, shit. And it just started from there. Really, I went into the breed, and it just was a pet. You know how it go. Start from a pet, then I just fell in love with the dolls, man. When I seen the bullet, when I moved to Texas or whatever, bro. Two weeks later, you know I had to go get one, man. For sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, that started from there, bro. I started one dog, shit, you breed, you have a little, and shit, that shit multiply, bro. For sure, for yeah, sure, yeah. for sure. What about you, T? Man, you know what I got here? It's mm -hmm. a certified Frenchie, man, you know what I'm saying? Top-notch blood right here. We got acro blood, and we got a little boost of blood. Um, a little bit of everything in this bitch. So she is 14 months, man. She done growing, you know what I'm saying? I can pick her ass up. One arm the bitch. Niggas ain't got shit like that right here on the French side, you know what I'm saying? But so what we doing is we break breaking this bitch to a uh, Adonis. We taking her first, breeding to Adonis, which is a micro. So I'm already in the process of shrinking, you know what I'm saying? Shrinking my yard down. And so this bitch here is definitely gonna do it. It's a good solid foundation females that I produce. For sure, for sure. So man, for somebody that, that never had a Frenchie, man, tell them what's the crazy, what what it got everybody dropping all them racks on them Frenchie like that, man. Look, here you go. This the Frenchie man to the right. I'm the bullet man. Yeah, okay. so so when it come down <laughs> to the Frenchies, bro, look, here you go. When when it come down to the Frenchies, man, it's DNA and it's pedigree. Yeah. And it's structure. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So if you can look at look at her right now, um, she she giving you a stance, that's a real nice stance on her. Right. And so the structure is everything on these dogs. And if they out of whack, bro, take it back. You know what I'm saying? But hell yeah, man, that the color was kind of what make it expensive, bro. For sure, for sure. So what's a red flag? You know what I'm saying? If you if you walk up on somebody trying to sell you, sell you one of them things. A uh, red flag for me, man. If the, if the structure ain't there, you know what I'm saying? That's one of the first things I'm looking at. I'm looking at the structure of the dog, cause I can care less about the color. We can always implement color later on in the camp or uh, in, in, the, in the program, you know, but uh, structure is most definitely key. For sure, for sure, for sure. So, uh, not to get in your business, man, but uh, man, how much is it run me if I'm, if I'm trying to give me one of them things, man? Give me uh, an estimate, bro. Off of this litter here, uh, her first litter to Adonis, honestly, this is gonna be my first um, big uh, breeding. And so, with that little, it's gonna start out about 7,500. 7,500, 7,500, yes, okay, okay, okay. So my dog, big boy, talk to you him. say you rocking with them bully. Bully man, bully man. Man, man enlighten oh. us on the bully game, man. For sure. Man, my opinion, man, with the bully game, like I say, there's ways you can get in it. You can get in the fast way. The fast way is buying you a female that's grown. And you know, you can wait like two, three months, she'll come in heat. Or you can start with a um a puppy, like, but with that puppy, you'll get a puppy, you'll have to wait a whole year, you know. It can be up to 13, it can be up to 12 to 16 months. She may come in heat at nine months. Every dog different. But yeah. I say, bro, my opinion with the dog game, it ain't bully, pit bull, um, Frenchies. I say, my opinion with it, bro. You just gotta keep going, bro. Like I say, before I had my first little, bro, I took L's, man. It took me like a whole year to have a little, bro. For sure. I done had dogs, abort dogs, and man, that's the side of the game they don't talk about, though, bro. Yeah, it come with it, man. But like I say, you gotta have that love and drive and consistency, man. 
Right. He ain't got that real life dedication and drive, bro. It take right. time. It's old with. He ain't gonna make it, bro. Right. This shit definitely take yeah, time, yeah. bro. And, what's, uh, what, what's some of the struggles, man, that, that, that come with being a dog breeder? If you ain't got no puppies on the ground, you ain't making no money. Yeah. So I'm saying? So basically, we try to keep a lid on the ground, you feel me, just keep that ball rolling. Right. And so, uh, but I've been breeding for about, about, I'm gonna say about, 20, since 2020, you know okay. what I'm saying? You got a little time in. Yeah, yeah, since 2020, that's when the pandemic hit, had to use some of the government money. The pandemic? It, yeah, that pandemic money so I could make make a proper investment, man. And I did see uh, a great return on that, you know what I'm saying? As you can see, man, this bitch is small, compact. Damn, near, let's put them side by side for a second, just to give them a... Give them a hit. Yeah, yeah so... This is a full grown French, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And this bullet here is six months. So, you know, she done growing, you feel me? She got a little bit more to go, but not yeah, much. Cause you can much. tell, yeah. you can tell she gonna pop. You can tell she got that shit in her. For sure. But this bitch here, full grown, 14 months, bro, not, she done growing. For sure. And, and she, that's compared to a puppy. So, you know what I'm saying? Show me something smaller. For sure, for sure. So you deep in the Mississippi dog breeding game, man. Explain yes, some of the uh, what the scene is on on the Mississippi dog breeding. Uh, Mississippi, man. Honestly, um, I kind of I I promote my dogs all across the globe, bro. For sure. You know what I'm saying? For on sure. Facebook, on Instagram. Um, uh, I done sold dogs from the east to the west coast, all the way from Cali, Texas, um, Tennessee, Florida. You know what I'm saying? South Carolina. Like I my dog, my blood everywhere. You feel me? So I have been. Been putting that leg work in, man, trying to get my name out there. Big Bad Frenches, man. You know, that's what it is. For sure. What about you, big boy? I know you relocated to Texas, man, and uh, man, there's I ain't a lot going on out there. Man, that scene in Texas, bro. Like I say, man, there's some love out there, bro. Man, there's some underdogs out there, bro. Yeah, for like, sure, for sure. <laughs> man, it's just, like I say, bro, it's real lot of love out there in Texas, though, bro. I can say my time, like in the dog game, man, I've been getting really number but love, bro. Like I say, people love my dogs. Like when they see my dogs, bro, they be thinking I've been in the game like five to 10 years, bro, and I really just started. So mm -hmm. I know I got a big future here, bro. This just the beginning, like. Right. Y'all like what I'm doing now, bro, just stay tuned. That's all I can say. Facts. For sure. Facts. For sure. For sure. I already told the man I want something off that bitch, man, as soon as he breed him. So For he sure. already got me as a customer For locked sure. in. Yeah, I got know, something man. lined up, bro. They don't yeah. even know, like, I ain't speaking on it. I'm just letting it happen, For man. sure. For yeah. sure. You know? For man, sure. this ain't even half the shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? We we was kind of debating on what to bring out. You know For what I'm sure. saying? We so we sure. really, we really brought two bad bitches. And I know I brought one of the baddest bitches in the city. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. So what y'all got coming next, man? Man, like I say, um, man, really shit, my bitches ain't gonna be back in heat until like December. But like I say, I done bred three females, bro. Like I say, they don't talk about this side of the game. For ain't sure. none of my females take. Yeah. And I got, like her mama, I ain't never miss, but like I say, they come with the game, bro. I ain't tripping on them. You just come with the territory, bro. For sure, for sure. You gotta keep going, bro. You take them L's, bro. Don't look at it as a L, look at it as a, as a learning lesson, bro. Yeah, for real. Sure. Yeah, right, yeah, right, for sure. yeah, right. So give me some, um, say if I want to get out there, man, start fooling with the dog, man. What what would be the first thing I, I, I need to do? First thing you need to do, man, do some do your uh, research, bro. Research. That's the first, first thing. Go to dog shows. Don't just buy the first thing you see. Go to dog shows, check out what they got, because, you know what I'm saying? They, they, that window shopping is best because, you know, you get to see what's out there. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to mm -hmm. stick your hand in some shit and then have to regroup and start over and, and get rid of the dog or not get rid of the dog, but start over with a brand new dog. You know what I'm saying? So, For real. yeah, that's the first thing you do. Get your homework in, get your research done, you know what I'm saying, to kind of find a lane that you want to take because it's a lane for everything. For sure. Yeah, it's a lane for everything, bro. And like I say, Man, the main thing, go hit them dog shows, man. For sure. Because you can, man, that internet shopping, bro, man, you'll think that dog look like that, it'll be a whole different thing. Finesse two times. Know. Yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, finesse two times. <laughs> then it got finesse four times, guys. For yeah, sure. Then you'll be mad, then you just smut all that money. Like, so mm -hmm. I, I'm the type of guy, bro, before you think about buying a dog, bro, go see that dog, bro. Yeah, For go sure. Go look at it, bro. Go Make sure you really want to. 
parents, all that, bro. Hey, grandparents, if they got them. Shit, they do the history of the dog. Man. Make sure you just know the background about them, bro. For her real. half brother, her half brother, man, came out to be some some hot shit, and uh, it clicked. And the reason it clicked because I went and did the research on that pedigree, and it had a lot of good shit on the back end and the front end, but most of them in the back end, back end. So you know, whenever that I did that breeding with a Seuss dog, with a Seuss dog that had that bloodline, and you know, and um, uh, it clicked, it clicked. So like I said, we ain't bring the best shit out, you know what I'm saying? We just brought a little bit. But I would have brought that dog with me, man, just to show y'all, you know what we're I'm saying? We're going to have to let you bring some more stuff, man, next time. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Break down what you mean by click, man. It might be somebody right. out here want to know what you mean by when that. I say click, when you come out with some shit that you ain't got a second guess. When it click, it's going to look like this or look like that. You know For what sure. I'm saying? It's going to... It's gonna yeah, be like, boned up, structured up. Example, you know what I'm bro, saying? I'm finna give you an example of a click, bro. You can have, man. You won't even have to have a, a the top quality female, bro. Right. But you pick the right stud. Right. Man, no pup is gonna. I got. I got. I gotta stop you right there. Hey, I gotta look, stop him. But nah, <laughs> but nah. I, I get where you're going, but mm -hmm. I'm saying, you ain't. You put you. What I mean by that, you can go to a five stud. It's a 50 50 chance, bro. You might have some out there, little. But if you take a top quality bitch to a top quality stud, bro, you should get some top quality, bro. Out of that little, at least, say, being the dog has six dollars, two dollars gonna be something like that. That's just my opinion about it. For sure. For All sure. Right, what I was gonna say was, I don't know if it's a difference between the bullets and the fringes, but if you got a fire ass female, that mm -hmm. stud can look like trash belong with the blood behind him, and that female got that blood in her, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You're gonna throw some good shit right. regardless. You know what I'm saying? You just got to trust, trust the blood. The blood. Yeah, that's right. another thing, too. You got to trust the blood. People don't know what that means, but when, when you say trust the blood, it's like you do a breed and you sit back and, and let it do what it do. Right. For sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Man, if somebody want to get in contact with y'all, man, give everybody y'all information, bro. Man, um, Instagram, make a profit kennels, MAP kennels on Instagram, Facebook, Demarcus Bennett. And like I say, really everything, on really every social site, make, make a profit counter. TikTok, make a profit counter. MAP counter. For sure, for sure. Yeah, you can catch me at uh, on, I, on IG, Big Bad Frenchies, B I G B A D Frenchies. You know what I'm saying? And on Facebook, Terrence Floyd. You know, you got what you need, man, when it comes down to your Frenchies, bro. Holla at me. Tap in, we got it. For sure. You when y'all Nick Dog Show, man? Man, really, bro. They come and go, man. They all over, bro. Man, they really gotta, all over. You just got to be tuned in and tap in. We really don't know when the next show. I don't know when the next show is down here, but I go to a lot of shows out there in Dallas, so I'm, it's one coming up next month in yeah, Dallas, month, I know yeah. for sure. What's, what's some of the names of uh, the people that sponsor them shows, man? Give them a shout out. Okay. Oh, shit, I got 30, um, uh, yeah, 30 West, Reds, Top West, Dollar Kennels. West Coast. Oh, uh, no, nah, not West Coast. Yeah, Top Dollar Kennels. Top Dollar Kennels. West Mount. Uh, exactly. Yeah, where's Mount Exotic? Uh, you got. Shit. That's who hosting them show. I know you got um Israel. Israel, he hosting the show as well. I think it's like October seventh. And you got Chavez. I think he hosting him a show as well. Oh, the box. I don't know what um date is on, but yeah, he hosting the show as well. I told. Shout out to Chavez. That's who on the done it, man. Yeah, okay. Chavez. That's who um tsunami Sue going to on her first little man, her first breeding. You know, we're going to a micro called Adonis. Shout out to Chavez Bulldogs. You know what I'm saying? So that's who we like then with with her. Um, hopefully we, we throw some nice, compact uh, mini gorillas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah. So how profitable can the dog be to be? <laughs> It's profitable. It's profitable, it's profitable bro. Like I say, it's some money in this shit if you do but, it right. But if you do it right, bro, you gotta do it right. You gotta do good business, bro. You don't yeah. want your name. You don't want to do no bad business, bro. Right, right. You ain't gonna do nothing but leave a bad name. Ain't nobody gonna want to do no business All with right. you. And like I say, anything can happen with these dogs, bro. You just gotta find a way to make it right. Bro. Right. 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 Now, Communication is everything, though, sure. bro. For After sure. you get that lock in, man, bro, you still supposed to keep in touch. Like, right, yeah, right. Make a nigga, you know, just yeah, make them feel like, a, you know, like family. your family. Yeah, your family, yeah, man, bro. Yeah, it sure ain't that. just about no breeding a dog and nothing like that. Bro. Right. For real, it's about building a relationship. Network, For sure, that's that big. <laughs> yep. So I can say, um, my first little, I probably made, you know, my first little, bro, my 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 very first little, I probably made like 28, 28 grand. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I had eight puppies. All of them didn't go for the same price. It was up and down. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. But 
That was the profit. You made it work. Yeah, that see? was the profit. And see, look, you can see how his end. Now I'm on the other end. My first little bro, I ended up with one puppy. Yeah. So I ended up having to keep her, you know. Right, right. She, keep it going. Keep it going, you know. I wanted that blood. She got to stay here. For sure, for <laughs> sure. Yeah. So you know, that's the ins and outs of it, though, bro. You gon' you gonna win some, you gonna lose some. For but sure. You <laughs> for sure, for sure. Like any business. Yeah. Keep going. Man, y'all got any game y'all want to spit, man, before we get up out of here? Stay down, stay consistent, you know what I'm saying? Stay motivated, stay dedicated, stay hungry, you feel me? Can't lose. Man, for sure. For real. Man, the only thing I got to say is, if you um, plan on getting in this dog business, don't think it's going to be an overnight <laughs> Right, <laughs> right. Like, it's definitely not. Everybody think it's an overnight shit, bro. definitely not. They don't see the ins and outs, bro. You got to clean dog shit. You got to feed 10 dogs. Right. All type of, you know, right. the background. Like, take it to the vid, all that good stuff. Take it to the vid. Unexpected, you really got to be on your P's and Q's right. with these dogs, bro. Yeah. So you think... Do y'all think you gotta have a love for the dogs or you just can be a business man and fool with the dog? Do you really have to have a love for I think you gotta have a love for yeah. the dog, for sure. man, for the dog game, bro. Because I feel like I done seen this though. I done seen a lot of niggas that didn't have love for the dog game but had love for the money of the dog right. game. Right. Still lost. You right. know what I'm saying? Cause they ain't had the time, they ain't put in that effort to, you know, make sure the dogs were straight. Cause they other they out doing other things. You feel right. Me? Yeah, right. So you gotta um, put that time in. I feel like it's the love that's there that's gonna make you put that time in. For sure, for sure. Another thing I wanna ask y'all, man, what's some of the what's some of the uh the clients that y'all deal with? Is it a lot of athletes, is, is a lot of street cats, working man, people, really, you know what I'm saying? What what honestly bro with them clients? It really be in about it, bro. Right. Honestly, bro. Whoever really got the bread. Yeah. I don't me honestly, bro, I don't have no pick and choose, bro. I'm not Buy is on who I sell a dog to, bro. Right. The thing with me, bro. If they got a bag, that dog. If you bag. got a bag, bro. But <laughs> another thing, bro. My dog, I just wanna. It gotta be going in a good living condition. Right, bro. right, right, right. Right. If I feel like you ain't got no, you ain't taking care of yourself. How you gonna take care of a dog? For sure. <laughs> For sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If you ain't going in no good living condition, it's all If I feel like that. For sure. Man, let me get the name of y'all brand one more time. What that is? What that is on your chain, man? That's your, uh, that's your OGT, logo. OGT, man, let me get a nah, close up on that, man. For sure, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. For sure. It's one of the trophy pieces I purchased after, you know what I'm saying, in this dog game. You feel me? For sure. For sure. For sure. What you got there, big boy? Man, make a proper kennels, man. Like oh, I said, this where it started at, man. It what it is, it what it gonna be, man. MAP. MAP. Yeah. Big bad French is over here, man. You know what I'm saying? We holding it down, bro. I'm yeah. holding the jack down, holding Mississippi down. You man. feel me? You want something look like this? You know where to come get it at, man. For <laughs> sure, man. Y'all get some shout outs, man, before we get out of here. Man. I'm gonna give a shout out to my boy uh, Chris at Real Quality Panels. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my boy uh, Chavez Bulldogs. Um, you got anybody you want to shout out? Man, let me give a shout out to my boy Greg. He up here over here in Jackson, Greg Carter, bro. He one of the Hardest workers, bro, that I know in Jackson with them bulls. And shout out to, I can't give a shout out but long live my dog Dennis, bro. That's why I got both of my dogs, my bulls, like starting out with, bro. For sure. Long For sure. live Dennis, bro. And man, in Texas, bro, shout out to DNA Kennels, King Lowe's Kennels. Oh, man, y'all yeah, keep doing y'all thing, bro. For real. King yeah. Lowe's, they sleeping on you, bro. For yeah, real. They sleeping, sleeping on, on King Lowe's. Lowe's got <laughs> you shit, got that bro. shit, boy. For, For sure. For real. For sure. Yeah. Y'all boy keep going. Chop it. Shout out to you too. 214. Uh, Pit yep. Supply, bro. Y'all yep. go on. Castillo Spend Royale. Bread, though, man. Castillo Royale Kennels. You know what I'm saying? So, shit. You know. <laughs> it is what it is, man. Big bad French business. For sure. For sure. With that being said, it's your boy Sally Sale with Juke City Legends. We checking out. Checking out. The Peace. dog edition. <laughs> the dog edition. The shit show. <laughs>